want to get to are some numbers that I pulled from the National Weather Service uh, regarding those peak winds this afternoon. So Montebello, even though you heard Carlos say it was an EF1, which is the weakest category when it comes to tornadoes, the peak winds associated with that tornado were at 110 miles per hour. We also had very strong and dangerous winds along the San Bernardino Mountains at 79 miles per hour in Chino Hills, right on the border there of Orange County and the IE, 54 miles per hour, and in Hesperia, 63 miles per hour. Luckily, we don't have any wind advisories planned for tomorrow, but uh, it's still going to be a little bit breezy in parts of the viewing area. In terms of the rainfall totals for the three-day event, remember some folks got rain as early as Monday in the evening, Monday night. So Oxnard, almost two and three quarters of an inch. In the San Gabriel Dam region, three and a half inches. Downtown Los Angeles, almost two and in New Hall, over two inches. The winds are going to dissipate as well as the rain. But as of yet, we still have a little bit of activity on the Max Doppler and we will show that to you coming up in just a minute. Here is a quick sneak peek and as you can see, we still have green and of course some snow falling over the mountains. So we'll get to those details for you in a minute. For now, I'll send it back to you guys. Okay, Vera, thank you. Montebello was not the only place in California where a tornado touched down. The National Weather Service confirming reports of a weak twister in Carpinteria yesterday. That severe weather battered areas across the Southland, bringing down trees and even dumping more rain and snow. We continue our team coverage tonight with KTLA's Chris Wolf, who joins us live in Calabasas with more on the destruction the storm left behind. Chris. Absolutely, Cher and Micah. What we have seen is incredible. We have in Northern California, falling trees have killed at least five people. And we have a very scary situation out here in Calabasas this evening. This is the Performing Arts Center of Calabasas High School. People were out here tonight for a student play. However, the saturated ground right next to the parking lot just couldn't hold on to this massive tree any longer. And it came crashing down onto a couple of cars, crushing, destroying one of them. One person, an adult, suffered minor injuries and was taken to the hospital. This was certainly a close call. The National Weather Service confirms a narrow or weak tornado touched down in Carpinteria, southeastern Santa Barbara County, Tuesday night. The tiny twister was still strong enough to tear up homes and churn up debris at the Sandpiper Mobile Home Park. The tornado damaged about 25 homes and injured at least one person. Officials estimate the wind peaked at about 75 miles an hour. The rough weather also left walking paths in the area covered with mud and fallen trees. Thick, deep mud trapped several large animals on a San Bernardino County farm. Fire crews assisted with the rescue of nearly 20 animals, including horses, bulls, and cows. The first storm of spring, but latest in a series of damaging and deadly blows to California, dumped more rain and snow. The ground is so wet, trees are tumbling and potholes are forming. Caltrans crews are busy. Back-to-back -back storms have ravaged local roads and freeways, and many cars rolling over them have been damaged or disabled. Patched holes have reopened. CHP officials say about a dozen drivers were sidelined with flat tires overnight along a stretch of the 71 in Pomona. From pockmarked pavement to pounding waves, the National Weather Service has issued a high surf warning, including the possibility of coastal flooding with intense winds. Some higher elevations recorded up to a couple of feet of snow, creating the possibility of avalanches, according to the Weather Service. The grapevine is now open. However, CHP officials add there are still challenging weather conditions in the area and the roadway is wet and slick. Their message, slow down, follow at a safe distance, and always drive with caution. And back here live where a massive tree crashed onto some cars outside Calabasas High School, sending one person to the hospital with minor injuries.
For now, reporting live in Calabasas, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.